Protons are one of the building blocks of atoms, along with neutrons and electrons. One or more protons are present in the nucleus of every atom, providing the attractive central electrostatic force that binds the atomic electrons. The number of protons in the nucleus is the defining property of an element, and is referred to as the atomic number. Since each element has a unique number of protons, each has its own unique atomic number, which also determines the number of electrons in the atom and consequently the chemical characteristics of the element. The word proton is Greek for first and was the name given to the hydrogen nucleus by Ernest Rutherford in 1920. In previous years Rutherford had discovered that the hydrogen nucleus, known to be the lightest nucleus, could be extracted from the nuclei of nitrogen by atomic collisions. More than a century ago then, protons were a candidate to be a fundamental or elementary particle, and hence a building block not only of nitrogen but also of all atomic nuclei heavier than hydrogen. The proton is a stable subatomic particle with a unit electric charge, equal to that of the electron but positive rather than negative. Its mass is slightly less than that of the neutron, and 1,836 times that of the electron. Protons and neutrons, each with masses of approximately one atomic mass unit, are jointly referred to as nucleons. Protons were originally considered to be elementary particles, but in the standard model of particle physics, protons are recognized as being composite particles containing three quarks, and together with neutrons are classified as hadrons. Protons are composed of two up quarks of charge plus two over three of the unit charge and one down quark of charge minus a third. The rest masses of quarks contribute only about 1% of a proton's mass. The remainder is due to quantum chromodynamics binding energy, which includes the kinetic energy of the quarks and the energy of the gluon fields that bind the quarks together. Because protons aren't fundamental particles, they have a measurable size. Their charge is spread over a spherical volume with a radius of about 830 trillionths of a meter, or 0.83 of a femtometer. The internal pressure of a proton was first accurately measured in 2018 and found to be about a million trillion trillion times Earth's atmospheric pressure. That's higher even than the pressure inside a neutron star. Aside from their charge and slightly lower mass, protons differ from neutrons in another way. Whereas neutrons decay in a matter of minutes when outside the nucleus, protons are stable and a good thing too. Much of the ordinary matter in our galaxy and beyond comes in the form of hydrogen plasma, a hot gas made of unattached protons and electrons. If protons were as unstable as neutrons, that plasma would vanish pretty quickly. But are protons completely stable? Much rests on the existence of proton decay, and as yet we've never seen a proton die. The reason may simply be that protons rarely decay, a hypothesis borne out by both experiment and theory. Experiments say the proton lifetime has to be greater than about 10 to the 34 years. That's a 1 followed by 34 zeros. Some so-called grand unified theories that go beyond the standard model explicitly break the baryon number symmetry, allowing protons to decay via Higgs particles, magnetic monopoles, or X bosons with a half-life of anywhere from 10 to the 31 to 10 to the 36 years. For comparison, the universe is roughly 13.8 billion years old. To date, all attempts to observe new phenomena predicted by grand unified theories such as proton decay or the existence of magnetic monopoles have failed. But the search goes on, and we still have much to learn.